Hello fitness friends, my name is Natasha. Welcome to class today. I have a core abdominal and glutes focused class. We're gonna be alternating exercises, focusing on either, either the front or back side from all different angles. You will need a pair of yoga blocks if you have them and a heavy dumbbell or maybe even more fun, a kettlebell if you have it. Especially for the warm-up, we're gonna do some deadlifts, squats, and swings. I'll just demo with a dumbbell today, but if you have a kettlebell and you know how to use them, grab a kettlebell. I have a 20-pound dumbbell. Get something that's going to challenge you. We'll have the opportunity to incorporate the weight on our bridge and hip thrusts, squats, lunges, really wherever you wanna add extra weight, or you could just do the class with body weight. Although for the warm up, I'd suggest grabbing a weight. All right, have some water and a towel. We might get sweaty. And let's get started with a warm up. We're gonna stretch into our wrists, our fingers, our feet, hamstrings, spine, and start with some breath work. Come into a kneeling position. Set your hands in your lap and let your shoulders float away from your ears. Relax the muscles in the face. Soften forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue. Let go of distractions here, and especially of judgment and expectations on our bodies. We just wanna work in ways that feel good, that challenge ourselves without pain. If something doesn't feel right, stop, set the weight down, do it a different way, or skip or modify. All right, let's take a deep breath in, all the way into the belly and the back. Like a balloon, expand, and then deflate, exhale. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, push it out. Engage the core at the bottom of the breath. One more, inhale. And exhale. Some soft neck circles. Drop your ear to shoulder and then roll ear to shoulder forward and around. Linger in any sticky spot. Some shoulder circles, go ahead and gather up your shoulders, pull them forward, up and back. And then go ahead and take your elbows in big circles, fingers on shoulders for four, three, two, one. Shoot those fingers out, flex and point, flex and point. Up, down, up, down. Now wide, narrow, wide, narrow. Whenever you're in planks, down dogs, Hands are on the mat, you're gonna spread and grip. Spread wide, narrow, make a tight fist, circle out, circle in, and blink your fingers like you're flicking water off your fingers faster, faster, faster. Start to lift your arms up. Four, three, two, and one. Shake them out, keep them overhead, and cactus back bend, heart up, tilt back. Good, try your hands down, child's pose, heavy head. We're gonna do that again. Lift and back bend, elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades, tilt the heart up. Exhale, child's pose, drop elbows, forehead, wiggle those hips side to side. Breath again, <sighs> sigh it out. Come into tabletop, spread your fingers, make some circles over your fingers. While you're here, let's tuck those toes under and start to stretch the arches of the feet. We're gonna press down into the hands, push the shoulders down and elevate the knees and bounce for four, three, two, one, cat cow, round and arch. Exhale, round, this time pull your knees off the floor. Inhale, arch, hands from your, uh, your heels, curl your heels to butt. Tuck your toes, round the spine, elevate the knees. Drop your knees, arch the back, hamstring curl, heels to butt. Press into your fingers, one more. Cat, round, lift your knees, look at your knees, try just hover an inch off the mat. Land, arch, and hamstring curl. All right, sit back one more time and walk your hands lateral, side to side. Then crawl on up and do the same thing, side to side. Drop your ear to shoulder, reach your arm up and across. All right, anything else you wanna do? Shaking out, crisscross. 
Okay, and we're gonna make our way into a downward facing dog to lengthen those hamstrings. Pedal out, chest to toes, head heavy. Now both heels releve and lower, highest heels, lower, swing your hips from side to side. All right, so you're just gonna explore any movements here in your warm up. If I was moving fast, you can slow things down and take a couple extra stretches. Walk your hands and feet together and hang in your forward fold. Shake out your neck, wiggle your back, sway. Maybe putting your hands down in different positioning, upside down, sideways, bend the knees if you need to, and backwards, rocking into your fingers your palm, your tippy toes, heel. So fingers, palm, high heels, low heels, and ragdoll yourself all the way up. Go ahead and circle out the shoulders one more time. All right, give your hands a shake. So our warm up to get our heart rate elevated and just some powerful strength work, pretty much the only cardio, although there might be some sneaky cardio from time to time. Uh, if you want to take off your rings, grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell. We're going to start with some deadlifts. And we'll do 10 of each exercise. Deadlifts, squats, swings. All right. So if you have a dumbbell, you can go ahead and carry it either the long way like this or both hands hold the handles. We're going to take it down, hips back, and then squeeze the glutes and hamstrings forward. If you have a bigger range of motion and you're pretty flexible and you want to grab onto the sides to go deeper, go for that. Listen to your body. You got four, squeeze your hips forward, squeeze your butt at the top. Three, long neck, long spine. Don't round the back, two and one. All right, so two ways to grip here, you can rack with your hands upward or you can hold like we did with your weight dangling down or if you have a kettlebell, you're grabbing the ball or the side handles. Squat, 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze your hips forward, glutes at the top, five, four, three, Butt back behind those knees, two, and one. Now, swings. Again, if you're holding your kettlebell, you know what to do. You've got the handle. If you have the dumbbell, maybe grip like this, and we'll dip and hike forward. Ten, nine, hips thrust, eight, exhale at the top, seven, squeeze your butt forward, six, five, four, don't let go of that weight, three, core braces naturally, two, one and set it down. Take some deep breaths. Heart rate should be climbing. Walk it out. Some hip circles if you like. Maybe some hamstring curls. And we'll do that again. Deadlifts, squats, swings. All right, catch your breath. Grab your heavy, challenging weight for you. Pick how you want to hold. Maybe the deadlifts, you go look the sideways direction so you have more space for your movement. All right, here we go. Down the legs, straight up, 10, nine. You could go quite heavy on these as you get warm. Eight, seven, six, hips back, hips forward, five, four, different than a squat, straight legs, Three, two, one. Change your grip. Squats, 10, nine, eight. Way back, weight in your heels. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Change your grip, swings, hike and thrust, 10, 
nine, don't get a big dip over, eight, make it efficient, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. All right, heart rate should be up there. We're gonna do that one more time. Anything you need to do, release the hamstrings, release the neck, hamstring curls, hip circles, swing those arms out. Maybe do them at the same time. All right, so on the, if you have a pretty heavy weight for the swings and you're using a dumbbell, it might feel safer to grab onto the handle. I was kind of losing grip holding at the, the um, side of the weight, it's pretty large, my hands are small, but just do what works for you. I think kettlebell is the best for these, but work with what you have here last time through. All right, we got our deadlifts. This is the warm up. then we go into eight exercises. <sighs> 10, deadlift, nine, eight, Seven, you could start to stag. Six, if your weight's light, maybe focus on one leg at a time. Five, four, three, two, one. Squats, any grip. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, exhale as we rise. Six, five, four, three, two, and your swings. Change your grip, hike it and thrust. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> All right, take a sip of water, come on down to tabletop. Move your weight out of the way. We're gonna take your left knee on a block, or you could do this right on the mat if you like. And let's come onto our forearms. We're going to tuck your left toes. They're barely gonna to touch the ground here. We're gonna focus on our right leg. Donkey and tuck. Donkey, maybe flex, pull the knee into the chest. Donkey, tuck. I want you to squeeze your glute and then your abs kick in as you curl the knee into the chest. And squeeze, lift and squeeze. Can you think of almost an arch and a subtle rounding curl? Four, three, two, one. All right, so we're going to lift off of the knee and tuck and then land and squeeze both hamstring curls. All right, so left toe tuck, right knee to nose, Land and then both heels curl in the right, the top knee lifts the bottom heel, but they both tuck in. Does that make sense? Right knee curl, tuck, and then both hamstring curl and raise. Couple more. Dolphin tuck, and then glute squeeze. Donkey, or dolphin tuck to donkey, double hamstring curl, two more. Squeeze strong shoulders, core, hamstring, glute. Tuck and hold. All right, can you press into your hands? Little leg pulses for eight, seven, six, top leg, five, four, three, two, and one. Slip that foot forward, release the back toes, and stretch. <sighs> How did that go? All right, so you could focus on a knee over toe lunge and then pull back wherever this is gonna feel good for you. You can work through some low lunge to a little hamstring curl stretch. Low lunge, hamstring curl, or hamstring stretch, not curl. 
All right, <laughs> let's switch sides after a few rounds of breath and any stretch that you might enjoy right now. Let's go ahead and slip that right foot back. Take the block under your right knee, climb on, tuck those toes, but don't use a lot of weight there. Lower down to your forearms. Okay, so we have our tuck and donkey glute squeeze. Let's go ahead and flex. We're gonna pull the knee into the chest and then squeeze the butt up, finding your range of motion, your mobility. So going to the top of that range where you can squeeze and kind of really activate the muscles to find your maximum length. Tuck it in, squeeze it up. Can you bring your knee to touch your chest and belly? your thigh to your belly and then squeeze tuck and lift squeeze it in press it up strong shoulders too pushing down not collapsing into them four more three oh this should feel hard if you are activating to your biggest extension and biggest tuck two let's do one more and one all right so now we're gonna lift off the knee as you tuck like a little dolphin tuck and then land the knee both hamstrings curl in hopefully you have a nice padded block like mine so it feels fine on the knee tuck you could even use a pillow if you want squeeze hamstring double hamstring curl left knee to nose land both legs curl and the left knee rises. Squeeze and double stag. Dolphin tuck, double stag like you mean it. Ooh, four more. Land and squeeze. Three, lift, land and squeeze. Two, this is tough. Land and lift on one. We're going to hold it and then the top leg pulses up while both hamstrings curl in, heels to butt. Six, five, four, three, fight two, fight one. Oh, my booty. Can you lift on the hands and then pull that leg through for that stretch? Okay, rock in. So you go ahead and explore how you wanna lunge, feeling the stretches, hips forward, neutral, maybe knee over toe, low. And then maybe lunge to rocking hamstring stretches. Forward, balance, back, or use your hands to the mat. You got it, this is just all up to you, exploring your body where you need that stretch. Couple more breaths. We're going to switch gears. Now focus more on our front side into our abdominals. All right, so go ahead and keep your block. Sit down and bring the block to your mid back where you can take a little back bend over it and it's comfortable. Bring your palms up into a cactus and prepare here by just relaxing, stretching into the chest, pulling your hips away from your ribs. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go through a series of crunches and then we'll change positioning of the block a couple times. Big breath in, tuck your chin and start to curl up. All right, so we're gonna go from this release into an extension. You don't have to touch the head all the way down to a forward curl. Get comfortable. If you have a yoga or a Pilates ball, it might be a little bit more comfortable on your spine than the block. The block is gonna be a little bit harder, but hopefully, again, if you have a softer, one of those spongy blocks, it should feel okay. You get a nice massage into the back. So you start to make your range of motion again. Maybe you do tap the head down and then you curl and you pull yourself away from the block. Take these slow roll crunches, find your range, 
from arch to extension to forward flexion and take off. We're going to add some layers, support the neck as it lands softly, and tuck, extend your arms, curl up. So on the lift off, we're going to add a leg raise either to a half or a full boat. All right, roll back on your ball, your block, your pillow, whatever is there for you. Arch, exhale, tuck, pull your arms forward, lift off the block to a boat pose balance, high or low. Inhale, we don't have to work in unison. Listen to your body, exhale, curl off, lift and grow tall. Couple more like that, inhale, stretch, exhale, Activate. You can try to make it a little more smooth with each one. Back bend, exhale, curl it in, and lift. All right, now bring your back down and tuck your hips a little further forward. So now it's maybe a little bit more under the shoulder blades, but we're going to twist and twist. Elbow to knee, subtle crunch, maybe three to four inches curling your shoulders and your chin forward using your abdominals to lift your hip flexors and quads work too for four, three, two, one. Now stay on the other side. You can extend an arm. We're going to tuck and open, tuck, open, four, twist. Three, exhale as you rise. Two, and one. Straighten arm, straighten leg. Open diagonal, crunch at the top. And squeeze, use your bottom hand for more support if it's getting hard. Less if you can handle it. Here's four, here's three, two. We're gonna grab onto the leg on one. Extend the other leg if you can curl up a little higher and release that left hand now the right leg that's free is going to start clicking up for four more three two and one nice work curl your shoulders forward you feel the block but you're doing the work here and then split your legs apart as far as you can isometric hold three two and whoo one stretch into that arch back release. Maybe wash your knees side to side, releasing through your hips. Whew, it can be subtle, big or small, whatever feels good. Then lift back up, extend your right arm. We're gonna start our crunches with our left knee to, uh, sorry, left elbow to right knee. Right hand is out for support. Curl and open, crunch and open. Whew, elbow to knee. And then bring your shoulders onto the block, curl away. On, again, that right hand is there as much or as little as you need it. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Now straighten, bigger range of motion. Exhale, squeeze, Whew. fight for it. And lift four more from here, four, Three, this is hard, you should be feeling this. Two, grab onto something, extend your left leg. Can you lighten your load on your right hand? Maybe float it and the left leg is going to lift and fall. Squeeze it up. Here's four, here's three, two, and one. Hold the split, move both arms forward. Curl your shoulders off, split the legs as far as you can actively. Isometric hold, three, two, and one. Whoo! All right, move yourself off. We are gonna change position of the block again. And you're gonna take it into your low back. So now your glutes are floating. All right, this is gonna be hard. Just do the best you can. We're gonna try to come into some low boat crunches, lifting your upper and lower body off of the mat. Your fingers can be there for support. All right, start to maybe use your elbows to start. Pull your shoulders up and then lift your legs. Hold here for three, two, one, and release elbows and then head. Try to be really controlled too. Obviously, you're not slamming down into your mat. 
relax. All right, so you can start by kind of using your elbows as a training wheel. Big exhale, and then try to push up to your hands or even no hands. Hollow body hold. Three, two, one. Oh, release it. All right, this one is gonna be your hardest option. We're gonna try to have the arms over the head or at least maybe 45 degrees over. Take a relaxing couple of rounds of breath to prepare yourself. However you can get into the takeoff using your elbows, tuck and lift. And then can you pull your arms somewhat higher, maybe 45 degrees? If you pull them back, it might drop you down like that. Did you make it? Could you lift your arms a little bit or did you have to keep them all the way forward? All right, relax. Swing your hips, your knees side to side and rock yourself to a seated however you can, rolling off the front edge. Be careful, but we are only a few inches off the ground. All right. We are gonna work back into the glutes now with some glute bridge. Here you have the option to incorporate your weight. If you want to change weight size and use something lighter, that's an option too. Okay, so let's start with our left foot on the block. And then if you oof, are using a weight, you can either hold it up around that left hip or maybe you can hold it on both hips, all right? Depending on comfort, you gotta make sure it doesn't slip away so your hands are gonna be there to hold it. And here we go, we're gonna start with some single leg hip thrusts. All right, so if you tried some and you didn't like it, maybe go ahead and take that weight upright on the left hip. If it didn't work for you to have it sideways, and your right hand can be there for some support, maybe fingertips, we are in it. We are thrusting our right knee up and down while squeezing your left hamstrings and glutes. If you have a heavy weight and you need to take some breaks, go ahead and do that. Four more, three, two, one, oh, release. All right, so if you weren't using weights and you wanna do a little bit um, more reps, please do more reps. If you are using a heavy weight and you need to decrease your reps like me, go ahead and rest there. So if you wanna try a few more, up to you. You can be resting or working, holding that weight in place. Count out a few more, maybe four or eight more if you get the heavy weight. <sighs> and release. All right, let's take a moment to set the weight down and move the block to the other side. You can use your feet or your hands. Now your right foot's on the block and you're gonna hold the weight probably on the right hip, maybe just inside the hip bone where there's a little bit more flesh, but you gotta hold it with your right hand. Left hand is down for support. Here we go. Lift and lower, hip thrust, hip thrust. All right, so this is gonna be different for everyone depending on your weight and strength. Try to go for maybe eight or 12 breaths here and try to take breaks when you need to. Lift, oh. All right, you're gonna take a moment to rest and recover, and then try to get another set of maybe four or eight more. Again, this is gonna really vary on how much weight you're trying to lift here, or if you have no weights at all, this might feel easy for you. All right, so second set, whatever you got left in the tank, four or eight, or maybe even more. Exhale on that drive. Drive. Oh, I'm gonna try for one more. Ugh. And, all right. Take a little moment to pull the knees into your chest and maybe try to come into a reverse forward fold where you grab onto something and straighten those legs towards your chest. 
We're gonna work that one more time with the block in a different positioning. So instead of a glute bridge, it's going to be a hip thrust and they are similar moves. So you could stack two blocks. Be very mindful that you are in the correct positioning to pull your shoulder blades over the blocks and they are not going to move. All right, so you can either hold your one hand at your um, weight, one hand to support the neck. So here we're gonna dip your hips back and curl your hips forward. Dip, curl, dip, thrust. All right, just a slightly different movement, but essentially you're doing the same thing. You're just gonna be able to swing your hips down and then lift, whereas before we were focusing on elevating our feet, now we're elevating our shoulders. So if you want to do some single leg work, you're welcome. If you need to just keep supporting the neck, maybe you don't have weights and you do some single marches, Go ahead and just choose how you wanna do your hip thrusts. Maybe pause at the top, isometric hold, squeezing your glutes and hamstrings, pulling your ribs down, all right? If you're comfortable not supporting the neck, you can just gaze forward and really feel that glute squeeze, tuck it under. Couple more, or you can add some pulses at the top. Small movement, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, carefully come out of that and move the weight. All right, if you need a sip of water, let's take that. We are gonna move into some low asana lifts and L-sits pretty challenging for your wrists, so make sure to take some wrist stretches. <clears throat> like we did in the beginning, blink your fingers out, put some pressure on the top of your hands, blink your fingers that way. All right, and feel free to modify if these don't work for you. All right, so two weights side by side. Knees come in the middle of the weights. We're going to, it's gonna be shoulder intensive as well, and like I said, the wrist do work pretty hard here. So I want you to spread your fingers and use your shoulders and not dump extra weight into your wrists by pulling up through the belly, down through the shoulders. So modification, we're gonna try to fold our belly over our thighs, maybe drop your forehead. Your elbows are pulling back by your rib cage. Keep your feet down to start. We're gonna to try to lift our hips and push down into the block, straightening your elbows. Exhale, <sighs> lift your hips. A Little bit of weight on the top of the feet, more weight in your hands and your shoulders, and then relax it down, all right? Give me a few of those and then we can try to progress. Big inhale, exhale. <sighs> Push and lift, lean into your hands, push the shoulders down. You should be light on your feet. Maybe lift one toe up and then the other toe up, little hamstring curls and relax, all right? So this is all up to you. How much effort are you gonna put in? Exhale, <sighs> lift, maybe some little marches, trying to hamstring curl, push down, shoulder strength, core strength, and counter stretch the wrists. Relax and shake them out. All right, anything you need to do here. So we won't do too many of these because they're very challenging and they are hard on the wrists. This time, if you can try to pull your knees into your chest without leaving your feet down, it's gonna look different. Obviously your hips won't be quite as high. Go ahead and meet me in that starting position. We're gonna push down into the shoulders, into the blocks. Try to pull our knees into our chest. Here we go. Exhale, pull the knees up, and then try to float your feet up. And then hold it for a couple breaths, or at least a few seconds. Counter stretch to release the wrists. All right, so maybe just try it a couple, two, three times, holding as long as you can. Shake out the hands. 
Give yourself some rest in between. These, this is a very hard move. I think it's probably the hardest move in all of yoga. And you're holding your whole body weight up in your hands. Round the spine, tuck your knees into your chest, deep, deep core. All right, we're gonna try it again. And then if you can pull your feet forward, we can come into an L sit and practice some L shape lifts, all right? So bring your blocks pretty much in line with your knees, maybe an inch or two back, elbows up, round into a child's pose. You get a nice break here. And then all effort to round the spine, push down, knees into chest, hug the heels in, hold it. And if you can, we'll pull our feet through and hold an L, sit. So hard to talk here. Three, two, one. Ooh. All right, if you didn't make it to your L, sit, go ahead and walk your feet out and meet me here. All right, shake out those wrists again. This time we're gonna go with a rock and roll and work our L's. So first, hands into the block, try to push down into your hands and lift the legs. Then bend your elbows and maybe your knees if your hamstrings are tight. We're gonna try to lift our butt off the ground. Push the shoulders down, hike the butt back. <sighs> Have a seat, all right? Counter stretch those wrists. Flap your fingers. Hands on blocks, push down into the blocks. Lift your legs as high as you can. Slow lower. Bend your elbows and perhaps your knees, push down into the blocks and lift your butt off the ground. All right, here's some extra drills if you'd like. Pull your hips through, reverse table. Pull your hips back, half L sit. Hips forward, hips back. Hips forward, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hips back. And have a seat, relax your wrists. All right, lots of options here to modify, skip things, just try something and take a rest in between. A nice massage of the forearm might feel really good right now. All right, so we did half an L with our feet up and our hips up. Now maybe we're gonna try that together with our feet and our hips up. All right, and those of you that our pros, super strong at this. Maybe you take your L sit and then you tuck your knees back to the lalasana, tucked in pendant position, all right? Pull your belly down, bend your knees. Bend your elbows back. Push down and pull the legs up. Shoulders round down. Hips pull back, thighs lift to chest. Exhale, go. And then if you can, you can start to pull the knees back and land back on the knees. All right, it's all really tough stuff. Even if you are just doing preps and modifying, you're gonna build strength. You don't have to be able to do everything, right? Go in little stages. Counter stretch on the wrists. Good, you go ahead and think about if you wanna try that one more time, maybe doing a little float forward, float back, or recover and we're gonna do squats next. You have the option again to hold the weights or not. So if you want one more chance to come forward, jump through and jump back. Pull your knees up, lalasana. Pull your feet forward, L. Pull your feet back, lalasana. And land. All right, shake out those hands. Whew, that's very tough. Okay, on your feet. Let's go ahead and put one Block down with your heels on the block, and then one block in between your knees for some squats. We're gonna sit and lift. Sit and lift. Squeeze your hips forward, hips back, hips forward, hips back, hips forward. Traditional squat here, and then we'll do somewhere where we're keeping our shoulders Stacked. You should feel your inner thighs because we're squeezing the block. Inner thighs squeeze and lift one more. Inner thighs squeeze and lift. Now, stacking your shoulders over your hips. Tuck your pelvis and pulse. Eight, squeeze the block. Seven, six, five, four, oh my. Three, two, one. 
Release that. Why was that so hard? I guess after all the bridge and hip thrusters. All right, your next set is, you could do that one more time, or you could ditch the blocks and use the weight like we did in the beginning. All right, with some squats. So if you wanna try those elevated or second set, you can use a heavy dumbbell or a kettlebell and we'll just do alternating heel raises. So you have lots of options here. Left heel raise or right and left. So I'll mirror you. Heel raise, set it down. Heel raise. So when you're lifting the heel, essentially the other leg takes all the weight, like a single leg squat, right? Four, three, two, or you're just working that same set as last time. And all right, come on down and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and lift. Beautiful. Take your weight down, come on down. Okay, so we got some squats in there. We're gonna go into some plank work and then we're gonna go into lunges or split squats with our back feet, back foot on the elevated blocks. All right, so coming into some plank work, again, we're gonna get back on the hands. We won't be here too long, but we're gonna do some plank drags and just some um, core work. Maybe I'll, I'll bring us down on the forearms since our hands just, wrists just did a lot. But first, let's go ahead and hit a nice tall plank. Spread your fingers. This is definitely easier on the hands because we have our weight spread and our toes are down. All right, so drag, hold. Try not to move the hips at all. Heavier weight is gonna be more work for your core. Drag, drag. Mine started rolling. Drag it across. If you like numbers, maybe go for 10 or 12 of these, depending on how heavy. Your weight is four, three, try not to rock the hips, two, and one, high plank. Swing your hips into an up dog on toes and then scoop up to that tall high plank. Up dog on toes, back bend, zip, use the core, pull you forward, and then just squeeze you up. One more. Up dog on toes, shoulders down, heart forward. <sighs> High tall plank. Squeeze the belly. Three, two, one. Release. Whew. All right, let's get off the hands. We'll do some uh, forearm plank. Swiveling the hips like a rainbow and then side to side like a zigzag. All right, shake out the hands. Drink water if you need to. Remember, you can always hit pause. I am going through the drills quickly. And you can always go through the drills a second set. Although you might be tired if you're using heavy weights on some of these. All right, so coming into a forearm plank, we'll do some tucks and some shifting, like I said. Feet maybe hip width or shoulder width. Let's start with a zigzag, jet your hip, just side to side. All right, you can take wider feet if you need them, side to side in one plank. Then up and around like a rainbow and you could tap one hip bone or thigh to the ground. Let's do four, three, two, one, and then find neutral, release into sphinx. All right, the next set, we're gonna add some plank tucks. I'll let you decide. If you wanna do forearms, it might be a little, it's a little harder on the shoulders. If you wanna go up to the hands, just think about how your wrists are feeling right now. Go ahead and just stretch into some back bending. Cobras, up dogs, and then meet me in either hand plank or forearm plank. All right, so we're gonna tuck our knees into our chest. High knee tuck. How high can you pull that knee in? Kind of like that Lola position where we're trying to get our belly 
to meet our, our thigh, to meet our belly. Really intentional. And then maybe some on the side. Can you touch your shoulder or your armpit or at least your elbow? Four, three, zip. Two, zip it up. One, and rest. Relax the neck, sway from side to side. All right, we only have two more exercises to go. Hope you're hanging in there. Okay, when we do our split squat, if you are going to incorporate an extra weight, just be really mindful that you feel stable on the blocks because they are not that stable. So you need more core. So it's gonna be up to you whether you hold one that one dumbbell in your hand. You could do right leg down, right hand holding the dumbbell, and then left foot on. Let's first practice without the dumbbell so you can get a feel for maybe how wobbly you're gonna be on that back leg. So find a nice distance between your left toes and your right foot, and then start to split squat pulling your knee back towards the blocks. Back, maybe even touching your knee to the ground and then lifting tall, all right? So again, you need to be mindful because these are not that stable. <sighs> Option for hands on your hips, on your shoulders, maybe behind your head. Squeeze more weight in your front foot I want you to go to fatigue, but if you like numbers, maybe just think of 8, 12, 15, something like that. And then when you've done that, take a little walk around, shake out those legs, and then switch sides. Okay, so I'm giving you guys a lot of options and leeway, whether they, you want to use block, uh, use dumbbells, no dumbbells. If maybe you have something sturdier and you feel more comfortable putting your foot up onto a couch or a chair or even the wall, that's okay too, right? But a pretty good distance between your feet so that you can start to pull your knee back and then drive up. Almost in a subtle diagonal action. So you're gonna kind of pull back towards the blocks and then up away from them. Again, more weight in that front foot for more stability. And then find some hand position you like. Maybe hands up. Find that nice number that you used on the last side or just go to fatigue. Hopefully evening yourself out. Three, two, oh. One, Whew. shake out those legs. Maybe counter stretch on the top of your feet if you felt that really deep flexion. Ah, I'm gonna leave that up to you whether you wanna go through a second set of those Bulgarian split lunges. They have a lot of names. Um, okay, or you can rest and recover. You could try maybe just a handful on each side with a dumbbell. Or maybe you just don't feel safe on the block. You lower down to one or none and give me some lunges with, one, uh, with the dumbbell. All right, so maybe whew, left foot on and we just get a nice lower number of lunges with the weight. Five or 10 per side. Okay, the last move we're gonna do is going to be a big challenge for some of us. And some of us won't be able to do it at all. So I'm gonna give you two options there. All right, finish up your whew, lunges. Woo, my legs are on fire. Okay, so they're gonna be pretty different looking exercises, but essentially we're working our abdominal muscles. You can modify here, or let's everyone try the first set like this. Leg drops, ground into your low back, squeeze the block in between your feet, pull your shoulders down, your head down, chin away from chest, and then drop your legs, 
and lift. Finding your range of motion, you could do pike ups, and then maybe if you start to fatigue with the pikes, you start to do tuck-ins, and maybe roll your hips off of the floor a little bit. Exhale, push into your shoulders, your elbows, your hands, little reverse curl, and reverse pikes or curl ups there too. All right, so essentially leg drop and lift in a pike straight leg or a bent curled position. You're gonna explore that. Relax the neck. You can also do this without the weight, all right? And then advanced, if you are super comfortable in a headstand, you have no neck issues, hand, hand, uh, headstands never bother your neck, and you are very strong in the shoulders to even keep the head very lightly grounded. So you could also do some single leg lowers into a little L-shaped position while grounding your low back tailbone into the earth, all right? Go ahead and play with those, or those of us that are very comfortable in a supported headstand are gonna do our tucks and pikes upside down, all right? Again, please don't do this if you are prone to any neck injuries because it's a lot of weight there around the head, but like I said before, you are pushing your shoulders down you might even have your head barely touching the ground. If you're strong enough, you can essentially barely have any weight on your head. So we're gonna put our elbows really close under our shoulders so that again, our head has barely any weight in it. We're gonna roll onto the crown of the head, pull your hips back, and then squeeze your knees into eggshell. Keep pushing down, I barely have weight in my head. And then your option is to do some Grabbing the block into some tuck-ups. Take lots of breaks on this if you do start to put too much weight in the head, okay? Or you can do some long leg hike-ups. And this is a very challenging move. Good, make sure if you're not completely comfortable, you have lots of space around you to roll or crash out. And your shoulders and your core is doing the work here. Again, I can lift my head right off into pinch up. Essentially, I only have a little bit of weight. Maybe 30% is actually my head or even less. Whew. All right, be sure to take some breaks. And that's gonna be our last exercise. So if you did go upside down, make sure to do some neck release. I would suggest hanging in a forward fold to let all that tension and space, good, re-extend, re-lengthen, let your head just hang in gravity. You might choose to do the supine leg drops one more time after that too, so that we get to put our head down and do one more set of the leg drop, perhaps crunch the block over the head, all right? So you could meet me here for the final move, or maybe you're still playing upside down. If you are even feeling super strong in that headstand and you wanna take some maybe hip side to side tilting or twisting to wring out that core, you're more than welcome to. But again, please be very safe when we are upside down on the head. I actually prefer pincha and headstands where you're not wearing bearing weight on the head and neck. But if you are engaging your shoulders enough, then it should be light enough on your head where it's safe. Okay, how'd you do? We made it. Let's take some spinal twists. Come on down to your back, let your knees fall to the right. And then start to gaze to the left as you drop both shoulders, maybe into cactus elbows, or you could take one elbow, fingers up, one down against the outside of the thigh. Big breath in and out. Switch. 
knee stack, one hand up, one palm down, gently pressing on the outer thigh or both hands up in that cactus, letting gravity do the work. Breathe. And pulling back to neutral, give your spine and back a nice little massage, side to side, little circles, perhaps a happy baby is calling you. Some gentle straddling. And you can stay as long as you like, of course. Eventually rolling yourself up to a forward fold. Wherever you are, you can bend the knees. Try to drape the body forward, no judgment. You can also do little shaking and nodding at the head. <sighs> nice deep breath in as you rise. Big sigh out. <sighs> All right, not gonna lie. I hope your abdominals and your glutes are sore tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, a comment, a share. All those things go a really long way and are much appreciated. Thanks so much for being with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.